you've probably heard about a walking foot the way I had but wasn't sure why you'd use one. Well, I'll give you a couple examples today where they're very handy to have and how to install one. Now, I personally just bought mine, so let's learn together. And let me tell you about my first experience. I was making a baby blanket with a minky backing, and here's the material. I think it goes by a couple of names, but I've always heard it called minky. It's so soft, it's fabulous. It's great for the back of baby blankets. And I had fitted the material to the the top material, which was just a, a cotton. And I had it pinned, and the pins were fairly close together. And that material, this minky material, still, this material still wanted to scoot around and not stay put. So that's why a walking foot comes in so handy. Now, another instance that is nice is as a newbie quilter, I'm wanting to do some small projects like coasters or let's say table mats where you're going to have your top material and you're going to have it layered with this batting right here. This will come in just perfect. The reason being is that this walking foot has little feed dogs right here, two of them just like the bottom of your machine has these feed dogs. So these are going to scoot your material forward. And when you have a regular presser foot, like this J foot on this um, Brother SE 1900 machine, it's going to feed your material through. And with regular sewing, that's fine. But if you have challenging material, you're going to want these extra grippers on the top. And what it does is it basically pulls the material together from the top and from the bottom. And that's what we're looking for. So now let's see how we change this out, how we install it. And the first thing we're going to do is take our presser foot off by the little black lever back here behind the presser foot holder. So there's a little black lever right back here. So let me go from the right. Might be a little easier for you and you'll see the foot just drops right off. Now the next thing we're going to do is loosen the presser foot holder. It has to come off in order for the walking foot to go on. So we're gonna take the, um, this is a little screwdriver that comes with the machine and we're gonna turn that screw to the left and this will drop off. So we're gonna take this insert it and go to the left and there it is it dropped right off so we're going to move this out of the way and now we're going to put this on in order to do that we do need to loosen the screw quite a bit because it's got to make way for this plastic and it's and it's fairly wide and then we've got this lobster claw here and the lobster claw is going to go over the bar that holds the needle so I have this behind, and that's how I'm going to put it on from coming from behind and come forward. So I've loosened my the, the screw up here so that it will allow space for this plastic fitting to, to go between the screw and the flat side of this bar. And you'll notice I've got the lobster claw up here around this bar. And then what we're going to do is tighten this screw, and you can start this with your, your finger and then you finish it up with the screwdriver. So to tighten the screw, you go to the right, and to loosen, you go to the left. As I've said before, the little saying, lefty loosey, righty tighty, always comes in handy. So you just wanna snug that down and it's ready to go. One other thing I wanna mention and I just found this out, is that if you have been using the J-Foot for regular sewing, by uh, default, when you start your machine, you will notice this uh, needle sets to the left. Well, when I put my material under this, I thought, wow, um, you don't really see where the needle is going. So you do need to change your needle position to the center and that way you see exactly where your needle is going to stitch on this. So I will insert the little video on that. 
I went ahead and I inserted a little piece of material that I call a leader, that's what I've heard it called. And basically it helps prevent what they call nesting. Sometimes if you start right on the edge of material, it will want to bunch, the thread wants a bunch right there at the back, and this prevents it. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to lower the presser foot, lower the needle, and I'm going to start this off. There we go. Now it's going to lock those stitches. So I'm going to raise this back up and get it ready for what I'm going to call stitch in the ditch. Now I am a newbie. I have not done this before. So I want to just show you how I'm going to do it. I want the needle to go right in this seam right here and it's going to hold my batting together and that's what we're after. I actually just changed the color of my thread out. I think the dark gray will look better. So we're going to start from our leader. Give it a couple stitches forward. Okay. I'm going to raise this up, raise the needle up. And we're going to try to find the ditch here. <laughs> okay. I'm excited about this. I think you all will be too. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to do it sort of in real time because I think. If you like me, you need to just see how, you know, how it's done and not to be afraid because in reality, a lot of things we've never done before, we're, we're thinking, we're thinking it's a lot more difficult than what it is. And I think it's the same with this. It was totally worth buying this because I noticed that this other spot that I did with the black thread right here. I'm totally in love with. Oh my goodness, I think this is just the start of a fabulous passion. Now, the day that even the skilled ones, as in skilled quilters, get perfect, I want to learn from them. But my understanding is the P word can be so demanding and unrealistic. So let's just enjoy it for what it is. It's fun. Okay, I was going to explain something that I didn't realize right at first, and that is the J foot. Um, that is what you would, when you sew, that's what you a lot of times will use for your straight uh, stitch, and it automatically goes to the left. The needle will be to the left. So when you put your walking foot on, you're wanting a center stitch. So on my machine, it's the 1-04, and that way your needle is in the middle uh, here and you can see where the ditch or wherever the line is that you're wanting to um, sew. So let me just add that because I started and then realized something is amiss here. So just maybe save you a little headache and heartache. Happy sewing.